The Vauxhall Astra, it's always been the white bread of the car world because it's, you know, plain, bland, it's, it's unexciting, yet it's, it's sold in huge numbers. But with this new one, it's like they've given it some kind of weird, tasty filling because, well, it's just so much more exciting. It's a bit like a Mars bar sandwich, which... No, it's not a good way, mate. Oh, that's horrible. Right, I didn't want you to see that, it was a pretty nasty experience. Yeah, I'll stick to reviewing cars rather than trying to become some kind of sandwich creating chef. Anyway, this Astra, way better than before, but if you're after this car, there's something you should know about. You see, the boot capacity is a little bit below average for this class of car, and there's no clever features either, there's no false floor. I can't really see any tethering points, just two there, really. There's a huge load lip to lift stuff over, and if you fold down the rear seats, Yes, yeah, so you get a big ridge there, so you can't slide items to the back. One feature it does have, though, is this, a ridge floor, which is supposed to stop things rolling around. And yes, it doesn't work all that well, does it now? I'm gonna take this, actually, for the next part of the review. But beforehand, if you wanna see how much stuff you can fit into this car's boot, just click up there on the banner, and you can see how much we squeeze into this boot, and how easy it is to fit a child seat in this car, and just what it's like with three people in the back. But I'm gonna actually summarize now for you. So, for starters, one of the good things about the Astra is this rear door does open nice and wide, so it makes it easy to get in. If I put these seats back, I'll just put that in the rear seat pocket. Actually, space in the back is all right, so I can stretch my feet out under the seat in front. There's plenty of knee room. Headroom is just about okay, not as good as a Volkswagen Golf, but similar to a Ford Focus. There's not much of a hump in the floor there, so if you have to carry three, it is all right, it's doable, and yeah, there's enough space for everyone's feet. One thing about the Astra that's great is that it's a little bit cheaper than its rivals, so the range kicks off at £15,000, but there are discounts to be had. In fact, if you go to carwow.co.uk by clicking up there, you could save, on average, up to two and a half grand on an Astra. Now, while I've got this bottle here, I can use it to show you as well that there's decent sized door bins here in the back, so that one and a half litre bottle does fit. I'm actually going to take it with me into the front as well. And that's obviously to illustrate to you that all round storage space is pretty decent in this Astra. As you can see, there's some more storage here, some space under there, cup holder areas there, and the glove box. Well, that's a reasonable size as well. Now, one of the great things about this new Astra is that the interior is just so much better than before. So the design, it's very sharp. You've got some nice shiny plastics and the material quality has taken a step up as well. So those in your direct eye line are nice and soft and they feel at market and they pass the car wire flick test there and even up there on the top of the door trims. And then there's the layout of the controls in the old car. It was very confusing, because I reckon an alien could come from another star system, get in this car and be able to drive it from the get-go. Also, equipment's great as well, so even the entry car gets alloy wheels, you get Bluetooth, you get cruise control, you also get a seven-inch touchscreen system, and it includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can hook your phone up to it and just, well, you're good to go, really but high spec models, they add auto emergency braking, you get an extra inch in your screen, taking it to eight inches, and includes satellite navigation. And on the whole, this system, it's, it's pretty easy to use. It's not the best, it's not the worst. And if you click up there on the banner, you can see our full in-depth video review of it. So far, so good for the Astra. Let's hope it's not let down by the driving experience. Well, thankfully it's not, it's actually really very good. So this new Astra is about 130 kilograms lighter than the old one, and that means it's just more nimble, it's more agile, and it does handle really rather well. Dare I say it, this Astra is actually quite good fun to drive, yet it's also very comfy and nice and quiet as well. It's actually as though Vauxhall has managed to take the fun, sporty element of a Ford Focus and then combine it with the comfort and relaxing drive of a Volkswagen Golf to create, well, an almost perfect hatchback driving experience. And the controls, now in Astros of old, oh God, the gear shift and the pedals and the steering, it all felt like it was filled with sticky, gooey porridge, but not in this one. In fact, my only complaint about this car is the rearward visibility. So you've got a small back window, and thick rear pillars, which create a bit of a blind spot. That makes it a little bit annoying when you're trying to maneuver in town. And you can see for yourself by clicking up there to join me for a passenger ride in our 360 degree video.
Now, most people who are going for an Astra will probably default to a diesel engine. If you're going to do that, get the 1.6 litre with 136 horsepower because it's quick enough, it's economical, and it's reasonably well priced. In fact, I think that engine is better than the equivalent in all its rivals. This one is the high performance bi turbo with 160 horsepower, and it really does fly. Now, it's supposed to do 67 miles per gallon, but the trip computer says I'm only doing 54, which isn't so good, although it's not too bad. The only problem is this engine is quite expensive, so it's not worth it. If you want a petrol, just get a 1.4 litre turbocharged petrol with 125 horsepower because it's nippy and reasonably economical. There you go, job done. On the whole, the Astra is pretty impressive. However, there are a few annoying things about it. Here's five. While quality is generally very good, there are a few bits here and there that are just oh, horribly cheap and nasty. For some reason, there's no armrest in the back seat, so you have to go like this. The Astra sort of looks like it's been designed by two separate teams because it's a case of nice arse, shame about the face. There seems to be about a million different trim and engine variants that it's really confusing choosing which one you want. When you start it, the 1.6 litre diesel engine sounds like it's tearing itself to pieces. Oh my God. Still, the fact the Astra is available with something called OnStar makes up for all this as it includes these brilliant features. With the Vauxhall OnStar app, you can do things like check the car remotely and even lock the doors and sound the alarm with your mobile phone. If you can't be bothered to read the manual or input destinations, don't worry, there's a 24-hour helpline where someone can answer any questions you have or program your Navi remotely. A high-speed data connection allows passengers to surf the net on the move. OnStar can run a remote diagnostic check on the engine so you don't have to get your hands dirty. Ugh. You can get the Astra with LED matrix headlamps, which block off part of their beam to prevent dazzling oncoming drivers, and that's the kind of feature you only normally get on really posh cars. The car will automatically call the emergency services if you have an accident. So then, overall, what do I think of the Vauxhall Astra? Well, its boot is neither particularly big nor particularly clever, and in certain places it does feel a bit cheap, but you know what, this car is incredibly good value, plus it's really good to drive. Now if you click up there you can get more information and find out the best deal you can get on a Vauxhall Astra at carwow.co.uk. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. And if you click over there, you can watch our detailed practicality, infotainment and 360 degree passenger ride videos for the Vauxhall Astra. Now, did you spot the Easter egg in this video? It was all the stars in the cubby compartments because Astra is Latin for star.